This is a comprehensive workshop on compass navigation. I'm going to start step by step with basic navigation. Then I'm going to move on to advanced navigation and I'll make it so you can take any dive site map that has compass headings on for different underwater attractions. And I'll show you how you can navigate from one to the next and what to do if you encounter problems along the way and lots more tips on what you need to plan as well as how to record this so you can follow it easily underwater. But first, some basics. We'll start by holding the compass correctly. It needs to be level and the window on the side of the compass needs to face you. That bit is crucial. You want to avoid tilting as this can make the compass stick and you don't always get an accurate updated heading as you move. Most important, window towards you, keep it flat. If you're going to use it on your wrist, I suggest getting a good bungee mount like I'm using here and keep it next to your slate. Another alternative is you use a compass on a retractable lanyard. These are quite easy to use and work well. The only problem is it adds clutter to your chest D-rings, which I personally like to avoid and I prefer a wrist mounted unit. Both of those compasses were analog units and I do suggest if you're going to use a digital one, you still keep one of the analog units as a backup. With digital compasses, I found that they generally work very well and they are accurate. They don't flicker as you're seeing here, that's just to do with the video camera. The only problem I found is that when you move an analog compass next to a digital, it throws the digital compass off and the analog one still stays true to its direction. So just be careful what you have next to your digital compass. Let's start with how you follow a set direction. 